Hey guys, how you doing? Um, Dinocide is a game that is for Linux. Uh, I was looking at it uh, recently uh, in the uh, the Steam store, and uh, does anyone else remember this game that was really popular on those old arcade machines in the really early 90s? Where you'd have like four games and you'd like put your money in, you'd like pick a game at the menu to play. Um, Dinocide looks exactly like a game I played on one of those, and I can't for the life of me remember what it is. Um, so if anyone out there is watching this and going, oh, I remember that game, please let me know, because that's been bugging the crap out of me. Um, it's available for all the usual platforms, uh, but mostly Linux. Um, I like their website. I love these, uh, the, the, these, these pixel art websites people have been designing lately. Don't like the way the logo is not in pixel art, but everything else is, but we can forgive that, I think. Um, yeah, it's a uh, yeah, good website. Explains the whole game. Uh, Dinoside is basically... Um, a platformer with a time limit so much like in uh Gauntlet your health running down you've got hunger levels so you starve to death in this game which is morbid but awesome um yeah it reminds me of uh what was that game the, the extreme condition or yeah extreme condition i remember anyway but basically you've got your health slow essentially ticking down and you have to eat or die um, it's uh, currently priced at six ninety nine and has mostly positive reviews. Uh, let's have a little scroll down to the reviews. Uh, Linux requirements is uh, yeah a computer. You'll be fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. Nothing crazy here. Six hours played. Four hours played. Half an hour played. Mm, okay. Nine hours played. Two and a half hours played. I love this half hour review here. Somebody's like I don't understand the people that go. I've played half an hour. I'm definitely ready to write a review for this game. I mean, I know I do first impression videos and stuff, but that's literally what they are. It's like, look, here's a game I found. Um, let's take a look at this. So anyway, before I carry on bitching and moaning, let's have a look at the actual game. Uh, I'm running this in windowed mode for the purpose of recording, but it works absolutely fine in full screen. I did have a problem where it selected the wrong monitor the first time, but I did the old alt space, leave full screen mode and just moved it over because that's how I roll. Uh, I would say the default controls, it's um, the action button is B, um, and then jump is Y, where you'd think it'd be A for like A for attack and B to jump, or vice versa. But yeah, um, B and Y is the usual. Uh, obviously, I've got Steam controls, so I can change that, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to try and use the default controls. Oh no, a dinosaur is taking my girlfriend, sister, mother. I don't know. There's, there's no context. We assume it's we assume it's your girlfriend because we're sitting cozy by a fire. But we don't know. We could be just friends. It could be my sister. You don't know that. Uh, yeah, so this is the map, the old retro style map that tells you where you are, and then slowly you'll work across the map. So let's have a look. Uh, haven't really figured out everything yet, um, but yeah, uh, B to fire. You've got energy up there in the top left. Um, so the faster I tap B, the faster the energy goes down, and I will probably die because I spent time telling you stuff instead of actually going to the game. Uh, see, the weird thing about it is that bar at the top in the center is slowly going down. If I don't get fed um, soon, then uh, yeah, that's going to be a problem. Uh, so yeah, so that's, so it really is trying to make you to rush through it rather than um, stopping and walking about. Uh, I think ah uh, no, no no there we go. Not going to start now. Um, it's interesting how it controls like it controls like how long you'll stop and how you can't be cautious in this game because if you're cautious you're going to starve to death and die. Um, so it is a game where you have to just keep keep moving to the right. You know, you just keep going that direction. Uh, uh, yeah, that was a pig, and that's a pineapple. I'm not quite sure what area of the world we are where all these fruits grow together. That seems like testicles. Um, I thought this was a wall, and the first time I jumped over it repeatedly because I genuinely believed it was a wall. Uh, it does honestly remind me of this game I played years ago, and I really would love to remember what that game was. Uh, yeah, that's. Uh, I don't think that is a penis, um, but it could well be. Uh, so let's start another one. And you can see now, as the game progresses, it gets harder by um, reducing the uh, how often you actually come in contact with foodstuffs. Uh, so obviously in this particular one, uh, let's get rid of the skeleton wearing a hat. I'm sure he was in detail. Uh, so yeah, so in this one, uh, if I go off the beaten path even a little bit, I'll find myself starving to death. Uh, and that is a problem. Ah. There we go. Uh, Yay, I got rubies and stuff. And uh, I'm also like, there we go. Whew, gonna starve to death. No, oh, starved to death and died. Uh, and that's why, because I spent just a second messing about there, um, the game punished me 
brutally so to the point where I had to feel feel very sorry and 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 die. So uh, let's start that again, and this time hopefully I'll get through. So uh, without messing about uh, and just literally barrel running towards the end of the level, which is how you play this game. Uh, and I've got an upcoming alarm for half past two, which is interesting. And I got this I got distracted by my upcoming alarm button. Ready, 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 ready. Ah. There we go. So, uh, jumping. Do do love the way the background is rendered in the game, though. It's um. So you've got the background we can see. And there's another layer of background that moves at a different pace, uh, and that is uh. That looks nice. Uh, not not a deep effect. It's something you see in pixel art games a lot, but it's this one it strikes me. It's done quite well. Noticed it as being good. There you go. I've got a dinosaur to ride on. Yeah, it's awfully friendly, dinosaur. You'd think it wouldn't be friendly. You'd think the dinosaur would try and eat me. Um, or ask how dinosaurs and humans are coexisting. Because it doesn't make any sense. But alas, whatever. Uh, what? What does this want me to do? Oh, dinosaur breath. There we go. Hey, There we go. And I uh, the dinosaur. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, yeah. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, as it goes as you go through it, it, it really does nail. Like a lot of these games where they claim to be retro, they're actually not retro at all. It's just like a topic uh, or something they say. But this one actually does genuinely. I feel like I could play this in an arcade cabinet in you know in the nineties without any problem. Um, it, it's I really like what they've done. They they really remain faithful to the retroness. Um, yet they've obviously obviously kept some modern ideas like full controller support and. Uh, and obviously they're not they're not they're not working with a motor roller arcade chipset either. I assume. At this point I'm just babbling, I'm trying not to starve to death. Uh, go. Oh. Yeah, uh, it is nice how the uh, the dinosaur wears down before your health. Uh, so the dinosaur starves to death and dies before I do. Um, which I'm in favour of, weirdly. Yeah, it's uh it, it, I, I bet they're as really pissed that um, that don't starve was a thing. Because obviously they that they could have called it Don't Starve, but Don't Starve already exists, so that's not really an option anymore. Oh, I've just discovered you can play on the D-pad. Yeah. Uh, the D-pad on the Steam controller is a little bit weird because you feel like you should be clicking it, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't really. Uh, you don't really need to, but you feel. I know you feel the urge to click it. Ah, and that's um, that's Zoidberg chasing me now. Ah. Yeah, the, not to say the D-pad on the Steam controller is bad in any way, but uh, I feel the urge to, you know, to, to, to treat it like like a clicky like a clicky controller, and it's not. Cause like if I, if I'm moving here like this, um, I don't need to tap my mouse. Though I don't have my thumb off it, but I feel like I want to click in every direction I move in. So that's interesting. Uh, anyway, just thought a little observation there. So uh, while I'm playing this, uh, how, 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 what are you guys up to? You guys, do you, you, uh, there's a comment section. You can leave comments. I mean, it's going. No, that'd be, that'd be nice. Find out what you guys are up to, because these videos they tend to all be about me, and that's, that's like that can be very selfish, you know. I want to know what you guys are doing. Ah, I'm just gonna. I'm, I don't want to starve to death and die, so I'm just gonna ignore him. There we go. It's weird that like if you get to the level, you can just walk underwater. Like this is this is fine. You just you just walk in here. It's almost like he can fly. Like he's flying, not swimming. Yay, next level finished. Uh, yeah, the controls are a bit weird, and the longer you play it for, the more you like you start to find the um the the, the fact that Y's jump just seems I don't know. It's funny because when I play Smash Bros, I set Y to jump, so uh so you think it wouldn't bother me that much, but yeah. And there's no consistency between the areas, like how did it get from the water to the desert? Um it is there is, you know, from a plot point of view, it's very it's very much uh it's very much retro and arcade in the style that it, it doesn't it's just a series of levels rather than telling you what's happening from a plot point that's fine again that's fine because that's what they're going for and that's um and that's what they've nailed because no one no one really asked in golden axe what happened in the transition sequences today uh, so yeah that's fine i'm uh, yeah i like it a lot it's fun it's, it's well worth the you know i think it's about nine ten pound was it we said uh, yeah it's well well worth the price and very much worth a play i do like the like sinking sound here you don't move fast enough you do sink so you know things um tend to be as expected it behaves exactly how you'd expect it to be oh, and i just died again with the big penis worm so penis worms are hard to defeat obviously 
But yeah, uh, this don't starve, and it's again I windowed it, full screened it, tabbed in, tabbed out. I've had no problems with it. Uh, very much, I think. I think if you like retro platformers, very much worth. Oh, six ninety nine. There you go. Um, six ninety nine. Uh, six ninety nine for me. Uh, I've, I've probably said this before on these videos. Six ninety nine for me is the sweet spot. Six ninety nine is how much an, an indie game should be because I'm willing to give six ninety nine to go. Let Let's give this a go. It doesn't give it a whirl. Six ninety nine is like something. I can, it's two cups of coffee. You know, I can afford two cups of coffee to give something a go. Um, any more than six ninety nine. Uh, I kind of, I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like it's a bit much for a game where I'm like, this is retro. I've played this a million times. But with the case of Dinoside, it was a nice surprise. I mean, you spend the six ninety nine, you you think, eh, how's it going to go? And then uh, it turns out to be fun, a lot of fun, and something you can almost play while having TV on the background and stuff. And I don't mean that disrespectfully. I mean that once you've got the mechanics down, it's something that you can just churn through, um, what and don't have to give it the same level of attention you would again with StarCraft. And that's good. There's room for these games. So yeah, I like it a lot. And who's the developer on this? Um it's developed by Atomic Torch Studios apparently that also made Void Expanse. I didn't realise they made that. Um hmm, interesting. We might have to have a look at Void Expanse as well. So uh, thank you for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please let me know what you think and whether you've played Dinosaur or not. And as again, I said give me some feedback in the comments. Tell me what you guys are thinking. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.